I'm gonna show you how to make a 100% completely free website using probably one of the most popular web hosting companies ever. We're gonna be using GoDaddy's website builder. And yes, this is free. You don't even need a credit card to sign up, but because it is free, it does have some limitations, which I'll point out along the way. And if those end up being deal breakers for you, I'm gonna also present to you a more premium option that doesn't have any of those limits. So let's go ahead and get started here. Get yourself to godaddy.com and what you want to do is come to the websites tab up here and click on website builder right away you'll notice it does say free trial which is misleading uh, this is like i said 100 percent completely free forever you don't have to pay for hosting let me just prove that to you real quick if we go down to the bottom of the page and we find the frequently asked questions is my website really free yes you'll never be charged for a free website plan uh, they basically give you a free trial for seven days, as you can see here. And then after those seven days, the premium features will go away. And then you'll just have the, the free plan for indefinite period of time. So, uh, like I said, they do have paid options. They have the basic premium commerce plan. We're not going to be using any of those features. Uh, we will just do the free plan to start, which, like I said, comes with a free trial. So come up to the top, click on start for free no credit card required, and go ahead and create yourself an account if you don't already have one. I'm gonna continue with email, fill out my information, create my account, and once you have your account, you're gonna end up on this setup page. Now, there are literally dozens and dozens of different types of websites. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna start with a basic website. Feel free to pick anything else that is relevant to you. We'll go ahead and click on continue. And for the kind of website, I'm gonna just say a personal website, click on continue. And now what should we call your website? Feel free to call yours whatever you want, but I just wanted to share this with you. I recently found this out about GoDaddy. So back in 1999, when they were coming up with a name for the company, uh, a very popular movie at the time was Big Daddy with Adam Sandler in it. And somebody's like, oh, we should call it Big Daddy. But unfortunately that domain name was already taken. So as a nod to that, I'm gonna call my website Cat Daddy today. So we'll click on continue. And if your website does have a physical address, you can go ahead and fill out some of that information. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And now this step is completely optional. If you want artificial intelligence to help create your website, you can go ahead and type a little description about what your website, what you want your website to be about, and then it'll kind of generate it with some stock images, some headlines and, and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and try that. I type my description here. It basically says a website where I'll be sharing cute cat pictures and funny cat videos. So go ahead and click on continue and AI is going to do its thing probably less than a minute. I'll be right back with you when that's finished. Now, before we can see our website, we do get prompted for upgrading to a premium plan, but let's go ahead and skip that. We can continue for free, like I said, and we get one more prompt here. It's asking what sections would you like on your website? Uh, let's go with the defaults. You can add more uh, if you want to, and like it says down here, you can always add more sections later. I'll actually show you how to do that in the tutorial. So. Let's stick with the, def the defaults and then continue to your site. And there we have it. We have a basic template of a website. And I'm just looking here real quick. It looks like AI missed the mark. I don't think they really understood that this website is going to be about cats since there's a picture of a dog and records and whatnot. But that's okay. Everything in here is fully customizable. You know, instead of uh, unlock your potential, you could just click and type whatever you want your headline to be. Let's say for mine, a website for cat lovers everywhere. And then as far as the images are concerned, you can easily change those out for your own images. Um, click on the update button here. And then over on the right hand side panel, we can click on change image. And I actually have a few images on my desktop that I wanna use. So I'm gonna actually use this one right here. So I'll drag that and upload it to my website. And then we'll click on insert. And that updates it with that image. So down here, we do have this gallery. These are all stock photos, but you can go ahead and kind of follow the same procedure to replace those. So click on that gallery. And yes, you can change the layout. If you don't like the style of that layout, we can make it more of like a grid. That actually looks pretty good. So I'll keep that, hit done. And then to change the actual images, let's get rid of the stock images. And then I'll click this plus button to add my own. And just like before, I'm gonna pick all of the images of my cats. 
drag them into here. Those will take just a couple seconds to upload. And now we can add those to the photo gallery. Okay, and there you have it. That looks pretty good. You know, you can follow the same exact procedure for any other image on the page or any other text on the page. It's really easy. Click and edit or over here on the right hand side in the sidebar, you can modify things as necessary. So speaking of the sidebar over here, I did want to take you through all three of these tabs. So you have uh, the website tab, the theme tab and the settings tab. So let's start with the website tab. Uh, one of the first limitations that you'll quickly find out with this free version of the website builder is that if you wanted to add a new page, you cannot. So the free version only comes with a, a one page website. You can kind of get around that uh, by adding links to different sections of your page to make give, give the illusion that you do have uh, multiple pages on your website. So let me show you what I mean by that. You can up here, site navigation, click plus and we want to add a new section link. So uh, let's add a link down to that gallery that we just created. So I'm going to say cat photos, and then it's going to be on the home page because that's our only page. And then the section we wanted to go to is the picture perfect uh, section. So we'll show that in the navigation bar at the top, create the link and that should show up. Okay, there you go. So we got home, our cat photos. If you click on that, it takes you down to the gallery. And let's, let's add another link. Let's say, uh, well, we're, we were doing cat themed websites. So let's add another section. And because cat videos are what the internet is built off of, let's add a link to a cat video. So, uh, well, let's say under the audio video section, we'll do a video. And then you have all these different templates about how you want the video to look like on your website. I'm just going to do a single video, add that. And all I did was earlier picked out, uh, typed in cat videos to YouTube. So I got this URL here that I'll paste in and that's going to load that in onto our website. And we'll say this is a cute cat video. Check out this great video of cute cats. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click on done to save that. And we should have another link at the top. Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't do the link. Let's do the link now. So same as before, we'll add a new section link to go from up here down to the video. So we'll say cat videos, and then we'll pick that new section video and then create the link. So as you can see, our navigation bar is coming together. That'll take you right down there. I don't want a contact form on my website. So you can really easily get rid of this section by clicking these three dots up here and delete the section. Go ahead and confirm that. And now that section's gone. You can add sections, delete them. We've seen how to do both of those. I do like the social media section here. You click on that and you can add links to your social media accounts. I won't bore you with that process. It's really simple, just like we did with the YouTube video. Go ahead and paste in your, your links and those will be enabled for people to click on. Okay, so that's good for the website tab. Uh, they do also have this chat feature that people can, you know, the, the bubble that pops up in the bottom right hand corner of the website that you're on. They do have that built in. If you don't want that feature, we can turn that off or you can keep it on if you want that. But let's go into the theme tab here. And there's three options here, color, fonts, and buttons. We'll go through each one of those. I'm gonna click on color. And as far as I can tell, you basically get to pick one color for your website. And then they have this slider bar that increases the, <clears throat> excuse me, the amount of color that shows up on your website. So they do suggest some matching colors. I think they pull these from this main image on your website. So you can pick any one of those or you can pick a custom color that you want and that'll become the color of your website. And then, like I said, if you just want that to be more prominent across your website, you can slide it up to the, the colorful, the light or the dark section to paint your website. Now, as far as fonts are concerned, it's pretty straightforward. So they have different types of headings. So uh, they have your main heading, your secondary heading, and then your, your body text. So you can customize each one of those uh, with any one of these options that you have here. So we'll do this font for the primary font and then the secondary font, let's do cabin. Okay, that looks good. And then the last option up here is the buttons. So we'll click on that and you see this is a button right here. We have start now, that's our primary button. There's also a secondary button. So they have a couple different options. You got a square one, square one with a little shadow behind it, rounded one, ones that are just outlined instead of filled in. So 
Let's pick a rounded one for our website for the primary button, click done. And then I'm not sure if we have a secondary button on here, but you can also customize that one as well. One last thing here, we do have a, a theme that they picked out for us in the beginning when we went through the AI website builder. Uh, you can pick an entirely different theme. So they have this whole library of themes. So right now we have this one where our main image is off to the left and then we have a little overview to the right of that, but we can pick a full screen one like this one, the spaces theme. Let's just see what that looks like to give you a demonstration. And what that does is changes the, the layout of your website based on that theme. So that's fine for now. Let's stick with that theme. Next up, let's check out some options under settings and let's start with the basic information tab. So you can change the name of your site if you want to at any time. So I'm going to keep mine the same. You can pick a different category for your website. And if you do have a physical address for your business, if your website represents a physical business, then you can put that in here in your phone number. Uh, we'll keep those all the same for now. Social media links. We talked about those earlier. A fave icon, I actually do have a fave icon. What is a fave icon? A fave icon is this little icon up here that pretty much every website has, just a little picture to represent your website. So let's go ahead and upload one. I'm gonna click on upload and I'll pick the fave icon and done. Now there's a couple other settings down here. We won't go into every single one. One that is kind of interesting is site history. So if you do end up making a change and you don't know how to undo it because you don't want it, uh, you can come back here and hopefully go back to a previous version of your website that was saved in the past. Uh, so I just want to make you aware of that, uh, but we won't do that right now. We'll go back to settings and I think we're ready to publish our website. So like I said in the beginning of this tutorial, you do get a free subdomain. As you can see up here, they generated one based on the name of my website. So catdaddy.godaddysites.com. The other limitation of this free website hosting platform is that if you did want to connect your own domain, like say I owned catdaddy.com, if you wanted to do that, you do have to upgrade to a paid account. So that is another limitation of free website hosting with GoDaddy. We're just going to stick with the, the subdomain for now. So let's go ahead and click on publish. And it does look like somebody else probably already has catdaddy.godaddysites.com. So they gave me a random number after catdaddy. So you can customize your subdomain to a certain extent, but you don't have complete control over it. Anyway, let's go ahead and view the site. So we'll click on that. And as you would expect, this is what it looks like. We got everything that we created back in the editor. We got our gallery with all of our cat images, the cute cat video that you could just click play here. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm gonna go into the developer tools and that's gonna generate uh, what this looks like on a Pixel 7 device. You could do an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Looks similar, looks good. You got the menu up here that will bring up uh, your navigation bar on the mobile website. And yeah, that looks good. So the one thing that you probably did notice is there is GoDaddy branding in the footer and at the very top, it's stuck up here to the top. So that is another limitation, I guess, with the, the free hosting with GoDaddy sites because that is unfortunately something that you cannot remove from your website. So if that's not gonna work for you as far as the unremovable GoDaddy branding, or if you need it more than just a single page website, or even if you needed to connect your own custom domain name, I did wanna make you aware of a more comprehensive website hosting solution that doesn't have any of these limitations and is in fact even more capable than the premium versions of GoDaddy's website builder. Elementor hosting not only allows you to create a website with as many pages as you want and has no ads or watermarks, but also allows you to connect your own custom domain name and even gives you a free domain name for free for the first year. Every single Elementor hosting plan is priced more affordable than the corresponding GoDaddy website builder plan. And not only that, but you can save up to 75% on the Elementor Lite plan and pay just $3 a month for the first year. 
and on all plans you get access to the Elementor page builder, which gives you the ultimate website customization where you can easily drag and drop dozens of widgets to quickly design your pages. Plus, Elementor has a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, but if you're still not convinced, check out this video next for an in-depth review of Elementor hosting and to see why some of Elementor's premium features make the upgrade worth it, especially when compared to GoDaddy.